Hi, everyone. Let me just double check that I have the correct network. That's the fastest. All right. Well, thank you, Julie. So, group today, and good to see everyone. Happy birthday, Patricia. Her birthday is on Valentine's Day. And uh, apropos of uh, Valentine's Day, I wrote in the little announcement for the schedule that that uh, I decided not to have a broad, like not to have a a live stream on Valentine's Day. Okay, just so I don't know, just in case. And so what's going to happen as a result is that we're going to have Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday is Valentine's Day, and then Thursday. So the only difference is there won't be anything happening on Wednesday, but instead we'll start on Monday. Usually we'll start on Tuesday, okay? I mean, for the week, okay? But otherwise, everything is the same. It's just because I feel like some people may may have commitments and so forth, and so I don't want to like break everything apart for that, okay? All right, so, wow, guys. Um, so I've posted the, the uh, meditations, those guided meditations, and I, I almost thought maybe I should have a different channel for those, I don't know, I just thought it was something to add, and I was a little apprehensive about that, so I think people liked it, and, and it worked out well, because I think many people had the question i mean not many people i feel like i speak for myself and i've seen the response i feel like we're we're, we're missing something positive donna had mentioned that she wanted to she thought maybe it would be nice to focus on positive things to have a day when we look into either nice people or people that are on our side and so forth and so donna as well as brenda suggested a reading on Adam Schiff, which I thought was would, was a really good idea because I, I really like him personally. And I've never done a reading on him, I don't think. So that would be nice because I feel like Brendan mentioned something that she felt like he was acting very presidential and I agree with her. Hi, Barbara. We're just discussing what possibilities for tonight's reading might be. And I mentioned that Donna is interested in in uh, Adam Schiff and Brenda. I don't think she's on, but she had mentioned she also wanted something on Adam Schiff. So so it would be interesting to look at like sort of like um, how what's the what's up coming up for him, what's going on with him now and what's coming up. Okay, because um, I've done. I remember I've done one reading on Kamala Harris. I many people actually email me to ask, and I feel like I didn't. It's one of, it's one of those times when I do the reading at the end of the the session, so it doesn't show in the title, I think. But anyway, so I thought it would be a good idea to do the reading on like what's going on with him, and then do a year by year, 18, 19, 20, 21, because that would tell us. If the elections is 2020, where he is in 21 would be in a good indica indicator, okay? And I remember, as far as presidential people are concerned, I've done Kamala Harris, and if I re recall correctly, she definitely has good chances. I remember that she, she got the house for 21, so it's possible, okay? So I just, just on top of my head, thinking of people who could be good. Okay, so... And then I just, from the comments I saw, what is, is uh, Brenda also asked, is Mueller behind the senators and congressmen quitting? Or, and I forgot who asked, what are, what are Mueller's strategies? Um, so, so maybe we could get started with uh, Adam Schiff. I don't know what you guys think. Okay. If, you know, if you don't mind, I mean, I feel like it would be a good person. Okay. Good person to, to start. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like, and and uh, Lucien said about Adam Schiff, yeah, he's trying to be a rational, intelligent voice for the Democrats. I agree that he seems, and I thought it, he was very good with uh, responding to Trump because Trump was, forgot this, tweeted some insult at him. And he was very, uh, very classy in how he responded. And at the same time, I mean, I, I don't know how a, being a politician is so hard because of, you know, the whole emotional thing, it's complicated, but they have, you know, he has a cool head and I think he's, he used to be some sort of prosecutor, if I recall correctly. So, so that's interesting. Another person that for some reason that came, popped into my mind and some people, I forgot who exactly had mentioned him before, um, the, the young Kennedy guy. Joe Kennedy, is his name Joe? Joe Kennedy the third or something? I forgot his first name. The um, the redhead, uh, the one who made this speech. The he's really quite young. Um, so I thought maybe you know it would be a good, interesting moment to look into the people who could inform our future. Okay. Um, and and. Uh, Okay, so that's that. It's funny, I haven't watched the news very, I'm, I'm not as on, I'm not a, on, on Twitter as much or something, or maybe actually I've done, I made some guided meditations for myself just for, for one, for sort of, sort of like getting items off of my to-do list done, because sometimes I, I there's a couple of things that I procrastinate with. So that was very helpful. And then I did another one about your main goal, like your big dream and where you are and looking back. So that I feel like it really helped me. And I think I'm going to probably share with you guys. I don't know that I want to put that on the channel. Um, so, so that might be why I'm more, maybe it's more serene than usual, I feel like, which is a good thing. So, let's see here. What's going on with Adam Schiff? Adam Schiff is on our side. Looks like he is. What is going on? Adam Schiff is a good guy. Adam Schiff, he works hard. That seems very uninspired, actually. I have to. It's so interesting you know, that the evil characters, they're very. Um, they have a lot of like, but I guess, you know, there's all this, this a, the whole investigation thing. It's like a whole evil, good versus evil thing. But I feel like Adam Schiff, especially, I feel like he's very, he was, he's very, um, Cynthia said, yeah, he, no, very kind of down to earth. Cynthia said the Muller meditation was fab. No, it's weird, guys. I, I didn't want to post it initially because I th it's kind of like, I'm like, oh my God, is that embarrassing? Is this kind of like weird? Or, I don't know. I just, but then I just did it because we, I got, I've always talked about Muller a lot. And then, and then, but Julie, not, not Julie, you, you went, I mean, not the Julie from the group, but another person, this group, from another person person posted something today about that she has a vision board of, like to to make these to bring justice to them and to to make what is it to make Kushner go to jail and all those things and I felt like it was very interesting because I have this obviously I have all this anger and I want to see justice but I was a little bit I felt like it would be weird for me if I if I wrote if I wrote something like that, like they're going to jail, but I, you know, the more I think about it, there's something kind of primal about it. And I, I'm going to be reading on basically writing this throughout the week to think about really imagining the punish, not just punishment, but that there's justice and that these people are punished. Like just the things that we talk about and the things that we want to see happen. You know what I mean? That we we're going to see that happen because, um, I don't know. It's, it's a, to me, it's like a, a, a it's moving away from my comfort zone, which I think is a good thing, but to be, to really express that on a, on a bigger scale, saying the things that, that we want to see justice. Yeah. And I saw, and, and I'm not particularly religious guys, but I was doing this recently. I, I searched, I Googled, um, 
Psalm, was it prayer to destroy your enemies? So Psalm 109 came as a result. And it's really interesting. I posted a part that I thought it was very interesting here. And because, it, I, you know, it's like a, there's a force in, I don't know, in, in the whole, in anger, right? And it's like, obviously we're very angry at the news, but how, like directing that anger towards an outcome seems almost, to me, it feels almost like, not risque, but I'm just trying to find here the part that I wanted to, to, to say, like the thing I wanted to say. Uh, we'll go anyway. So, so that was very interesting. I'm gonna try to find it. Okay, where is it? Okay, second. Because I thought it was so contemporary. It was so interesting. It said just, just not. Well, I won't read the whole thing, but what is it? Oh, here. He said, uh, what is it? When he is judged, let him be found guilty and let his prayer become sin. Let his days be few and let another take his office. It's not, a, I thought, wow, that's kind of amazing. Oh, I have to look into this, Barbara. I think I'm, she said, um, I think American natives call that kind of visioning of justice, returning the bad medicine. Oh my God, that's perfect, right? That's perfect. Because I feel like, the, you know, there's something like this whole process for me has been a kind of like self-discovery, you know, all those, even the cards and all, closing my eyes and so forth. And then there's a sense of power. And I think, I don't know if it's a female sense of power or if it's a, something that you feel like, I feel like you have power to do these things, but it's almost scary to do it. You know what I mean? To really, because I feel like we do have power to make all these things happen, the positive things like meaning changing, envisioning a different reality, bringing justice to people. But it's almost like, I'm always like, it's interesting that for example, I'm comfortable verbalizing these things on Twitter, but it's harder to create a, a, a visualization for that because it feels like, oh, I don't wanna come off as like being a mean person or something, you know what I mean? It's weird, but, but you have to be mean because, hello, if we don't do something then, you don't care about us, right? So anyway. Interesting. Adam Schultz just had, now I have so many cards, it's kind of crazy. Now it kind of is fun, fun. Wow. Because I feel, guys, I really feel this sense of like, it's funny, I'm reading this, what Barbara said, and, and I'm seeing a huge wave, like one of those massive like waves coming, not because of the blue wave, quote unquote, but just the image that we, if we move things, we really make it happen, we can make it, you know, could, could turn things around, could have a wave that takes over. Because I, feel, because I feel like there's something, there's something about how little we seem to use this power, I feel like. You know what I mean? It's much easier. I feel like it's so interesting that, for example, we're so quick to get angry. Yes, exactly. Oh my God, that's right. Julie's saying my vision is suspiciously like the end of the Godfather one. Not that people get whacked, but they get arrested in various locations simultaneously. Yes, I agree. I agree, Julie. I agree. And, and Lucian is saying our collective energy is very powerful. Yes. Yes, I feel like it's almost, it's, I find it very interesting. I'm just, I have to process this more, but I find it so interesting that, like I said, we can get angry, we can write, you know, we can write like little think pieces in this now, nah, what's wrong, what's it, but we don't really use it often to create like the vision of the things that we really, really want and to believe them as real. Exactly. Donna is saying, I think that's what we are figuring out, having our quote unquote angry feelings, but still coming from love and how we manage that. Yes, because I feel like it's, um, 
I don't know. And I feel like it's almost like uh, we have, I was thinking about this just now that before we started, that we have, women have a sort of power. I think we do have a, a different kind of power that's not force. And that it is very intuitive. Exactly. It, Patricia is saying also important not to be negative in thoughts, thoughts towards reality. Yes, yes, yes. So it's like, but I do think we know that there's something horribly wrong, right? But that if we use this, I guess I, I feel like in, in a way it's some, some sort of magic. It's not really magic, it's not the word, but it's something like, it's like this intuitive power to, to shift things. Because I've never, before the Trump presidency, for Earth Mothers who ties to Gaia. You have to, I have to look all into all of this, oh my God. Because I feel like really, I, you know what, I've never felt this before. I've had some rough experiences, but it was just me, you know, I'm not gonna get into this, but, but basically this experience that is collective, right? Um, I'd never experienced this sense of like life and death. I never thought I'd experienced this. It was something that you saw in history books, okay? Um, and so now I feel like it is a matter of life and death. Oh, Patricia's saying not magic, it is creativity. Fascinating, yes, Patricia, exactly, it's creativity. Interesting, interesting, yeah. It's like, I, guys give me so many things to think about, oh my God, so it's like I have to, like I, I just don't get very excited. Wow, yeah, no, it's true, it's true. But um, so basically I feel like, yeah, we, I don't know, we know that, that this is a life and death issue, essentially, to the democracy and to us, right? Because we all know that if they were to win, we would be worse off. I mean, we are right, so far so bad, right? So far, everything they've done so far is goes against like 99% of the country, but also I think we feel it very personally for several reasons. So we really have to do something. I mean, obviously, voting and, and, and talking to representatives and so forth. But I think there's something more powerful, something stronger, like a, a kind of a, I don't want to say a shadow army, but something like that, like in a good way, a right? shadow light army or something that we can really kind of go. I almost feel like I, this feels like a movie to me, like we're going to this, like the other side and kind of like, like manipulating, you know, like we're doing light, like pushing the light around and kind of like, it's because I really feel, guys, when I was doing, you know, the, I guess maybe those meditations and so forth, and and then thinking that if we if we really did this, if we really believe, because I think the thing that somebody mentioned something about Trump, how Trump, obviously, I don't like him, but it's true that he because maybe because he's a psychopath, that he can really he believes all of it, you know, he believes that he's the greatest, he believes it's crazy and so forth, but there's something about what he does that there is one thing positive, which is that, that he really projects outward this thing that he, ha he has, even though it's horrible and it's evil and it's negative, if we projected that outward, right, in, in, the, in the positive sense, it would be amazing. But it's almost as if we, on the quote unquote good side, are too afraid, we are, we're too logical, like we're too data-driven almost, and don't use the other part quite as much, right? It's interesting. Just, just thinking about this, guys, sort of thinking about, yeah. Interesting. Cynthia is saying that she doesn't listen to Trump. Yeah, it's it's fascinating. It's uh, it's interesting, but there's it's almost like there's nothing. It is very scary, but at the same time, we have to push, to push, the the positive. You know, we have to push this the goodness, and all those things. Yeah. And uh, and that's why I feel like I, you know, the whole thing with like, I don't want to wish, necessarily wish people back, but I, I felt I was like thinking of the image of like a boomerang or something that, you know, if, if we the good people are protected and they throw negative things and then the things go back to them and hit them back. And like all the, you know, there's justice and so forth. So I don't know, those kinds of things. Okay, so now let me look at Adam Schiff. Yeah, good image. Yeah, that's right, because I feel like it, it's like if we if we have a shield that's in pen, the good people have shields, not not just we, but the people who like say Adam Schiff, right? Oh no, wait. Who who Patricia's saying about Trump? 
Is that I have read three predictions going to die soon and will become a martyr spooky. Oh, interesting. It's pot. I mean, who knows? Who knows? I don't think he'll. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if he'll become. I feel like everything is gonna come out about him. No, interesting. So I don't know that. Wow. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't know that it will. Interesting. Okay. Let's see. Let me shift here. Um... So anyway, just I'm looking to Adam Schiff. So, so what else? So interesting. I mean, I feel like. This is the center card. So it's like making plans, opportunity for new plans. And it feels like this is, I have a sense about him right now that when I see him speaking and so forth, that he's kind of some, there's a renewal for him. It's almost like something sprung up. I've always thought he was very, when I hear him speaking, he was very articulate and leader-like and, leader and, and president-like, but there's something more that seems to have like sprung up from him. And I feel like this is new, kind of like, this is the beginning stages of a new plan and an opportunity. So, so, um, so that's that. And then at the beginning we have conflict and reputation. So, so I feel like also the, the because it's the moon in some ways probably behind the scenes there's a lot of conflict. Okay, and. Um, Yeah, and I feel like it's, you know, he's in a kind of tough environment. But it shows here that he helps. The last card is the sun and averting death. So I feel like he helps for look into the shady dealings of the, the corrupt family. Okay, and so now it's funny. I'm talking, I almost see him. It's a kind of like a weird thing to say, but almost like a sheriff. Like, you know, when you were a kid and there's a sheriff and he's like the good guy. That's kind of how I feel now for some reason. Like he, he's coming to his element more. Okay, so. So I feel like, oh, hi, Diane. So just talking about starting to talk about Adam Schiff. So this is a reputation under clouds through com in, through conversation. So I feel like he's he's felt this is a competition, and that there's he underneath here there was an ace of swords upside down and hope. So I feel like he felt kind of not discouraged is not the word, but something like like he there were almost too many obstacles that prevented things from coming to light, and. Uh, there was just like a lot, you know, on all the meetings that he's had, this is a card of meetings and conversations. So it's like almost too much work. Okay. Yes. Happy to see you too, Diane. It's a, our more intimate group. Okay. This is moving on and dream. Also, it could be network. So I feel like 
he's this is up on top of him so i feel like this is like he's feeling the energy that thing he's gonna get there or that we're gonna get to a point where we see the light i think ultimately okay and here below this is the center like i said beginning plans and opportunity so uh, dream opportunity interesting dream opportunity yeah dream opportunity and here he has the magician which is an ex excellent card is a card of a person ex actually just what we were talking about turning dreams or thoughts into reality and the bear the bear means leadership and it also means money so i feel like he i feel like this is leadership in this context so so i feel like he he's at he feels at home okay he feels like he has the power now to ex exercise his leadership that this is the opportunity for him. This is what it, now I'm getting. This is oppor the opportunity for him to move things in a different direction and to exercise his leadership and to turn, to kind of like steer the ship in the right direction, okay? And uh, and this is a card of uh, the happy family, happy country. And the fox. So this is the part of towards the future. So this is showing him looking to the shady dealings behind the country's back. And we have the the tree card, which is I, I see it as the network. I I use the star in the tree as network, but I think this is the org chart, basically the family. Okay, and this is upside down, which means anger. So I feel like people are, the population is going to be very angry at the people in, in the future, in the org chart of this, because of their shady dealings that he will bring to light, because it's showing here, shady dealings grow, but also, or also I feel like in the context of the readings we've done, meaning the shady dealings that, are related probably to the Republicans and Trump. And here is death upside down. I feel like he's averting death of the country by shedding light onto it, right? So onto all these issues. So he, he has the light on his, like he's carrying the light, okay? I think here. So I don't think there's like a, this is pretty simple, okay? And I don't think there's much, it's just what's going on with him today. So let me look, you know, and look into, to look at the other cards and see what's, you know, if there's anything else that we're looking at here. And, uh, Yeah, I feel like it's, I think it's definitely, he's very involved in the, in the investigation. This is Viaggio, meaning travel. I think this is a card of foreign influence. This is a card of amore, love. So I feel like he cares or he's very involved in this. Okay. La Vecchia Signora means old lady. And I think this means for a long time. So I feel like the ties... Is it is looking to the ties, like the lo love, I think in this case means the ties, old ties. Stanza is a card of the room. Um, it means many things. I was studying this this weekend and it's a card of something coming out, something negative. I said before, it's also a card of intimacy, intimate communications, but also it's a little bit like the book card in some ways, okay? It's the communications that are hidden and what are these communications dealing with the white house so so he is looking into all the old ties and all the old communication that is hidden um the, that connect the white house to the foreign power okay so that shows that he's very like his mind is i think he's very completely occupied in this okay and then um a letter meaning he, he, he'd also, I think he, this is a pleasant letter, but just means the letter means he could be issuing invitations for those, I forgot what you call them, 
to have people come over or he could be looking to documents. This is a ship card equivalent, another journey, meaning from foreign influence, high honors, okay, meaning that there's something like how there's a link between the foreign influence and a high level of foreign influence, but then he's right here we have Muller, right? So this is a good man. It's possible also that Muller looks or that he's connected to Muller on a, how do you say it? That he is respected by, Muller respects him. And this is a good lady. I think it means it could be a woman, it could be, who knows, maybe Nancy Pelosi or somebody. I don't think it necessarily means Russia here. I just think it means an ally. Okay. So he, I feel like maybe something like he he i think you know the feeling i got actually is that he he might actually be closer to Mueller than we know okay there's something we don't know about their connection or that they have they may have a like a bond or something okay so yeah so i feel like right now all he's thinking about is the Mueller investigation that's like consumes him okay and he's very like he wants justice and so forth like like right he's so so that's that, I feel like, okay. So now let's look. Now, do you have, before I go into the year, because now what I wanna do is look into 2018, 19, 20, 21. Do you have any specific questions about him that I can do now? Like I can pull the, the next cards. I'll leave the year for the last, but specific questions we could ask. Now, okay. Um, I'm trying to think here if there's anything I'd like to know about. Interesting. Yeah, let's let's look. Yeah, you know, let's okay, that's a good question. I'm thinking, what about asking what will 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 be Adam Schiff's role in the Mueller investigation, right? What is this like how will he be known or what will end up being his role in the Mueller investigation? Okay. That's good. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay. Okay, so very interesting, like very hard, like I feel like he's a lot, he looks like he's a lot more powerful than what we, than what I think of him not normally. And so, wow, he has a lot of like, whoa, like he has a, all the, the weapons, okay, at his um, disposal. Okay, so at the center we have here, this is a person who's burdened, like he works, he's, not, he's very stressed out, he works really hard. Um, and yeah, he just has a lot on his mind. He's just super stressed out. This is also can be a stress, but it could also mean aggression. So I feel like at the same time that he's very stressed out and working extremely hard, he's very tough. Okay. He's like not letting go. He's like, tuh, tuh, tuh. and I'll show you guys. It's like, whoa. Okay. So this is a car. This is a full new, new beginning. And this is a scythe. So it's like, he showed like he this is the first scene he comes up like cutting okay so it's also it's interesting i haven't i haven't thought about this but there's a meaning the scythe isn't always like deathly or something it could also mean that he gets to the point he's he's a he's a clean thinker or that he's a he's just an economic thing right he's like he he gets to the point okay so so you'll see here that he's like and this is a He's fighting, and this is mostly contextual, okay? So this is a person who is who's being aggressive, but like this, at times he has felt that he couldn't get through, right? He was 
being pushed around. I think in a way, right, it makes sense because it's mostly Republicans, but then we have the death card right here. So, so I feel like, I feel like it's interesting, the combination here of like sudden and like sudden ending and aggression. Yeah. It, oh, exactly. Don. He cuts to the crap. Exactly. So he, there's a sudden ending through aggression. And I feel like he's the kind of person who's obviously not like Trump, you know, as like brags and so forth. He's the kind of person. And I feel like he, because I don't know that much about him, but I think he was a lawyer, prosecutor or something like that. He seems to have that very methodical personality that never gives up. And I think it's like, that's what it's showing that gradually he, not that he explodes, but that he like applies constant pressure and that he does in the end um, achieve results. Okay, so then we have, I'll show you, and then towards, let me just have it. Let me just show you the next cards because I haven't shown these. So towards the future, this is a month, there's like wrong money and this is an indictment probably or a letter. Like he wants, what is this, subpoena maybe? Subpoena's money. And sub, it's a letter, secret letter about Hillary. This is Hillary because it's like turning somebody upside down. So, so he finds... I feel like he subpoenas or he has secrets that are related. He finds out secrets that are related to Hillary, like taking Hillary down. Okay. So let's look at this, all of these in series. So it, it makes more sense. And I feel like, because these cards are very direct in this context. So it's saying he cuts through the, it's like what Donna said, he cuts through the crap. Okay. So I'm just one at a time. Yeah. He cuts through the crap. And there's a sudden, he creates like sudden endings or he, he suddenly, he does these things. He doesn't give up. He's very aggressive. Okay. So he cuts the crap through aggression. And then there's a letter. I think here meaning he issues subpoenas to find out more information about money. And how that information about money the secret information about money was used to, to turn Hillary's win upside down, okay? Which I think makes sense. So, so that's, that's interesting, okay? So, so I feel like, you know, it could also mean, it's funny, I'm looking at this. It also could mean that these are secret indictments. Okay, so these indictments are secret. Indict could be many things. I don't think he has the power to obviously to indict anyone, but I think he may, I don't know. I, I don't know if she knows about those secret indictments or there's some, there may be something more. There's more than meets the eye basically. So here we have, um, so I, I pulled out the other types of cards and it's like court, this is a court person. Again, Muller, I believe, okay, a change. So he, he could also mean that he he has a, in a way it's sort of like a legal jurisdiction or some sort of but he creates a change through legal means and then this is there's happiness okay so people are happy in how he used that to create a change and now we have that somebody so that that you know what I okay so this is this is his thoughts this card is called his thoughts and the child so I think what this means here is that Trump I believe this is Trump okay so. Trump is worried about him because the, the child's thoughts. So the, it's like, and the, in these sets of cards, I don't really use this very often, but there's something, it's called directionality. It's too complicated. Well, it's not complicated to explain, but basically whenever you have people cards, you have to look at where, like look at the direction that they're looking towards. So here he's looking towards this guy. So that, in, that changes the meaning in some ways in the sense that he is is a, he's like worried about him okay because he knows that there's something like he has some sort of power like i said to you guys there he mean there's something he knows that we don't know yet that could take trump down in some fashion okay and we have here belvedere means on the other cards okay um yeah so so but, but i think luciana what it's showing here is that trump is worried about him it's not that it, because there's something he has some sort of power that we don't know about that he can take 
not Trump take Trump down directly, but that he he could make life a little bit complicated for Trump. So Belvedere means something is coming soon, something coming next. And this is interesting. I was I was looking to, like to the meaning into the meanings of these. I, I found this this Italian guy on on uh, YouTube, and he explains the cards, and it's amazing. He's just like there's like a hundred lessons, and he I just I'm like doing dishes or whatever, listening. Como se chama? Se chama Etienne something. I forgot. Val, I have to. I'll send you the link next time, Luciana. I'll send you. He's amazing. So it's like. Um, Etienne Valde, I don't, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. So no, no, but it's like amazing, and it's like he talks, he just describes everything, and it's just very nice. Yeah. So, Diane is saying, my husband says that now they realize young white women are turning the house, and Schiff will be in a position of power to impeach Trump. Yes, yes. So, so go, going back to this letter, uh, to this card, disperato per la per gelosia, it means that is means a desperate person. Okay, so so it's like soon there's gonna be a bigger because this guy was saying that that um there's the card uh, this card means a crisis. He was explaining. He said, "Look, this is, this is one of the few cards where the man is is like doing something. Like he's he's like has to act, and he does. He's, he's really desperate. He doesn't know exactly what to do, but he's doing something." So it's a crisis. He says that it's like it, this person is in a crisis, and upside down, it's even worse. Like, it, I feel like there's there's going to be a crisis of desperation in in the like from Trump's side. Okay. Mercante means business. Okay. So there's something about crisis in business. It's just kind of sad. Like, there's a sense of hopelessness, and and people aren't so happy. So I feel like. Soon, I feel like there's going to be a crisis, and I sense this, guys, a kind of like a momentum that is that he's going to seize the momentum that's going to come with. It's probably showing here what I think this means is some sort of financial. I feel like the stock market's going to keep going like this, okay? And so this is going to be bad for Trump, okay? Keep going. And I feel like this is like that's when I almost feel like he. Not, gr not grabs power, but he grabs momentum. Okay. Diane is saying we should meet at Julie's in Hawaii when this nightmare comes to an end. So we'll see. We'll see, Barbara is also in Hawaii. So, so anyway, so we'll, we'll see, guys. So, um, so that sounds good. It was so nice to meet you guys. You know, we we're so fun. It's so fun. Finally. So, um. So anyway, so that's that's what I see here for his role. I feel like I see him getting bigger and bigger. Okay. Like kind of like um yeah, Diane said, yeah, no, I think we'll see. We'll see Diane. I think it's uh you know, we'll meet up. We'll meet up. But um yeah, no, I think it's a good idea. We'll meet up. Like I think it also is a good thing because it it shows that this has to happen. Something has to happen before we meet. Like we won't meet until Something happens. Who knows, right? If what if it takes longer? So, so anyway. So in terms of um, yeah. Until he's gone. Oh my god. So. So in terms of Adam Ship. Oh shit, Ship, my Ship. I almost see the image I get from him is almost like a you know helium like filling a balloon. It's not so funny, but I feel like he's finally like coming to his own, like his power. Like he's really getting to a bigger stage and he found, he finds, I mean, he's always been doing, he's always been doing this work because he cared, but I feel like he sees, it's almost like, I feel like this is the historical moment. Oh my God. And I see guys, I see, I see, oh my God, this is amazing. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to describe what I see. I'm not going to read your comments until I open my eyes. But what I see here, it's almost like, you know how today we there's all these historical mon monuments about the founders. I feel like there's going to be historical monuments about him. Like, this is the moment, like, and I get goosebumps, actually, like, when, when things turned around and he did this and da-da-da. And, like, there was a moment. Oh, hi, Terry, so long. How long? I, I miss you. It was a long time. We'll see you. Good to see you again. So, anyway, I said I'm just not going to open my eyes. But there, here I am. I open my eyes. So, so, so anyway, so so just the whole thing with Adam. I feel like it's almost like there's going to be a whole history. This is going to be historical, like all the moments that we're living, 
kind of like the Republic part two or something like that, you know, the, the rescue of the Republic. Okay, because I see him almost dressed in those clothes of like the founders, you know, the out those outfits in stone. Like he's like, it's like this, this stone carving of him. Sounds so such a strange thing to do to say, but maybe that's the role that he feels he's doing on at the same time. And that's his self image now, or that he is stepping into this role that is like a role of a founder, almost, you know, or maybe that he is, he understands the constitution, or that. There's, and I feel like there's something here, I sense it. And I feel like, okay, you know what it is? It's almost like, okay, there, I, guys, it's almost like there's a voice saying like, okay, this from now on, this is the beginning of history. This is gonna go into history. Before this, it was just the rehearsal. This is history going forward. Okay, so this is like, this is what I feel. Like the beginning, and I'm just gonna say what I'm getting, guys. It's saying in a week and a half, history is gonna start. It's gonna be a bit turbulent, but it's gonna be important. It's important that it happens this way. I don't know what it, what's gonna happen exactly, but but that's oh that's that. Okay. Oh, guys, you know what? I'm getting a, okay. Oh, I can do 2018. I feel like I want to find out more about what's gonna happen to Adam Schiff this year more than what's gonna happen in 2019. But I guess. We should just find out what else is going to happen in the, like toward by the end of this year, right? Is it okay if I ask? Because I feel like I want to know what, right? What um, what's coming? Okay. Okay. So what else? Okay. Let's see here. What else? What else is coming for Adam Schiff this year? What else is he doing? Just going forward. Let's say. Yeah, starting February 15th on, onwards, towards the end of the year. Okay, so let's just see. Let's uh, let just see. I'm still gonna try here. Let's see. Okay. So it's up 10. Okay, let's just say five positions. Okay. Okay, so yeah, he's. Uh, Okay, so yeah, so here he's working hard, like a group work, okay, effective group work about the Russia thing. Okay, I think this is the Russia investigation. And this is diligent and consistent work about the relationship between Trump, his figure, his work. I feel like he's really doing more than he, he almost like, I, I get a feeling, guys, just from all the cards I'm seeing here and the feeling I'm getting from him, that he feels like this is his life's work. He's dedicating everything to this Russian investigation, like much more than we know, much more than what, not that he should not, I feel like he's not even, it's like he's he's missing his kids. You know, it's like he's he's not really even participating in like, in like you know, his family lives quite as much as he would like maybe because he feels like, and they understand, you know, that it's like very important, okay, that he does this. And so I pull that, I'm, I'm doing this differently a little bit now, pulling out the these other styles of cards now. And this is Bambino, which is the same as, uh, you know, the same as the child, right? So exactly, look, hit the guy, little baby in the, in the, yeah, like, so it's upside down. So Bambino is like, mm, like, you know, Trump annoying. And oh, oh, look, oh, it's the court. Oh no, oh no, something, oh, oh. So I feel like he feel, you know what? I feel like he's helping. Oh, you know, I feel like, the sense that I get, oh no, little child is going to jail. Little child is going to jail. Adam Schiff, find out shit. Okay, so anyway, so so I feel like he's helping. I feel like there's something about, like I feel like he's working with Mueller, almost in secret to like find specific things or like strategy, something. Because here you have the court. So baby goes to court, okay? Baby goes to court, stop crying. Baby goes to court, stop crying. <laughs> so it's like, uh, so it's like baby's upside down. Oh no, oh no, yeah, oh no. So, yeah, so I feel like he's involved in this. Okay, so let's see. I, I kind of like how I did this. It's kind of, kind of like this. All right, okay, so next, let's see what comes next. The devil, hmm, oof, oof. 
Oh no, I wonder what's going to happen next. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the money oh, I have well, I guess I, oh. Okay, let's see here one second and then the other one or something. Okay. Oh no. So here we have the devil. I think this is a, you know, the illusions and all the shady stuff behind the election. This is the card usually used for the election, so he's involved in finding the stuff out. And then we have, oh no, somebody died. I wonder who, I don't know. I have no idea. Oh my God, really? Why? Oh my God. So there's a lot of money on top of it. So I feel like money related to the election brings an ending. Okay, so um, let's see. I kind of, I was going to do, let's see where, okay, let's see where it goes. Okay. And it's interesting because we have domestico. It means a person of service. Okay, so it could also mean a. I was, I was listening to the to the guy speak, and it could also be a very young man who is inexperienced. And it, this is a look, Trump. This card is so funny. Rich, good gentleman. I don't think this guy is a gentleman. Just Trump. Look exactly like him. Okay. So, like, look, is he sitting on a, look, is a throne and everything? Is that a iguana? Is that a iguana or something over there? Yeah. Oh, my God. So, so then I wonder if it means that he, either that this guy, the, the, the domestic is Adam Schiff, or that this is, you know what I think this, this is, guys? This is, I have a feeling this is Donald Trump Jr. Doesn't he look like him? He's like, Dad, whatever. Mm. Look, mm. he does as he's told by dad, like, you know, yeah, it looks like him a little bit. So it's like there's son, dad and son. And I feel like the devil ends the son and the, and the dad. Yeah, I, I don't know why I, I just, but I have, like I said, I have to go with this guys. Okay. So let's see what's, oh no. Oh, he gets what, as, as I say that this is gets what, what he wants. There's an entanglement. Let's see what, I, I, well, card by card, right? I have to to show here. Oh, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> so, okay, so here we have, and I'm trying to think here, guys, I'm trying to think here, this is what, I feel like I'm, I'm just gonna do the five things and we'll talk about it because there's no timing, okay? It's just a bunch of things. So this is entanglement, okay? So this is a card of the dog. So the dog, this I believe is the loyalists because look, loyal to who? The mice, Republicans, the mice. Keep eating your food in the middle of the night. You know, isn't it interesting that rats, rats are really, you know, they, they work at night. Remember how the Republicans with the tax bill, they did everything in the middle of the night. They were like sneaky and kind of gross. That's kind of, that's them. So it's like the loyal, I believe here is like the loyal mice, the loyal Republicans. Okay. Loyal to, they're the loyal Republicans who are entangled. So they have entanglements. And what do we have here? Get what he wants. So I feel like if the reading is about Adam Schiff, I feel like it probably would indicate to me that he achieves what he wants in terms of, of like getting them, like, right? I, we'll see. We'll see. I don't think this, this is about them getting, like, the, this corrupt people getting what they want. It just shows... Or it could also mean that the entangled people, right, the, the shady, loyal Republicans are guilty because they got what they wanted, okay? And it, you have some interesting cards here. La Fedelta, another dog. It's funny, the two dogs, right, here. La Fedelta meaning loyalty. So, but the, it's upside down. So the people that claim to be loyal are not really loyal. I mean, I think they're traitors, right? I don't think, I don't think it's a... Uh, it's, you know, it's radical to say this. And we have gloomy thoughts. 
So I was reading on this card just today, earlier today, and it, there was something interesting about it that said, this card is also a warning to not make mistakes, beware, sort of a warning card. So I feel like the loyal people, right? The, the loyal to the other foreign power, like the people who are helpful to each other are not really loyal, okay? They should have known better, okay? It's kind of like what it is, like, it's like, I think that's what I'm getting here, is that, oh, and you know, guys, one thing I wanted to, to it's funny, you know, this something came up to me now, the RICO, our ICO investigation, because for some reason I'm getting that, the, you know, the loyal rats, right? What are their loyal rats? It's like a criminal investigation in a way. Like, I feel like there's, you know, and then I'm, I have to, you know what, maybe remind me guys towards the end of the reading, if we do another, you know, who to, for the next reading or just to, to remind me, then maybe we should ask into what RICO is, like what is it, is it going to be done against the Republicans? Because I feel like this is what, you know, this, because it's such a strange combination. It's like the friend, the group of loyal, like friends who are rats, but their loyalty is fake. So if their loyalty is fake, then what is it? It's a, it's a racketeering organization because the loyalty is based on corruption, right? So, so exactly. So I feel like the gloomy thoughts here is saying there's a warning, like you're not really loyal to the things that matter. You're just pretending. So, so I feel like this would indicate to me in some weird way that this is like a RICO type situation, okay? Okay. Oh, guys, oh, and you know what? I was researching, so I feel like it's kind of pathetic how it seems like his name is RICO. Racketeering organization, RICO. <laughs> I was researching this today. I feel like it's pathetic because my life revolves around everything that, that like about this investigation. So, so then there was the examples and then, and then the last example was Donald Trump. He's already been tried for RICO for Trump university. So that was tried as a, as a RICO case. So there's already a, hello. I felt like it was like, it was going to be new or something. No, it's like old news for him. He knows RICO well. So let's see here. Oh, oh, look, somebody got a letter. Somebody got a letter. Somebody got a letter. Oh, oh, letter to the house. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. So, you know, it's interesting here. I don't know. Who, okay, so we'll talk about this. So this is a aggressive kind of like bully type person there's a man here i wonder if this is jared because there's a deal here i don't know who's whose deal jared jared i made a deal made a deal you can't you can't yeah what is that rolling sounds like you can't always get away from Ryko, but if you try sometimes you find yeah okay so this is turning your world upside down Oh, is that right? What, what, really? What song? What was song? Which song? You can't always get what you want. Really? Huh. Interesting. Okay. I may be, maybe you're kidding. Okay. Really? That's weird. It's so strange. Oh my God. Psycho. Guess, guess, wow. How weird. So the man gets a deal here. Okay. So this is a turning upside, the world upside down. Okay. So, so, um, okay. I'm going to pull out, there's another row, like another column. And then I'll do like the close eyes because I, there's a lot of information here that I need to get more specific information on. So this is a person who gets a deal. This person is related to turning the world upside down and there is aggression. I feel like this could be alluding to the deal that they made because here we have right below, we have La Lettera, which is the card of the indictment, okay? Or, or it has been so, so far it has shown up as the an indictment and house. So, 
Somebody made a deal to turn the world upside down. Somebody made a deal to turn uh, turn to turn the world upside down, and then they got indicted. Somebody made a deal to turn the world upside down, and then they got indicted. It didn't work. Okay, so so yeah, so I feel like no, no, no. I I think it's it's a big person because I feel like Flynn already got a deal. Like it, Flynn is in the past, okay? And uh, I don't think, I, I think, I believe Hope Hicks is, is talking. I don't think Bannon, is, I do believe, guys, this is either related to, you know, I feel like this is probably, I don't know, guys, I, because I think this is a very big person, okay? Because it's showing how is he going to be known? He's not going to be known for some, something smaller, you know what I mean, in the sense of like, because... I don't. I think it's some. It's like a. I feel like it's it's showing somebody who's going to get an indictment who's in the White House, because they made a deal to turn the world upside down. Okay, so what? It, like, who could that be? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just feel like Hope Hope Hicks. I believe she. I believe she's already talking to Mueller. I don't think that she is like a person because I don't think that. I mean, I think she could go to jail, of course, if she doesn't co cooperate. But I think the real culprits, the real criminals here are, are Kushner and uh, Trump. OK, so it's interesting. I mean, we'll see. We'll see more here. We'll find out more. But I feel like, yeah, there's a deal there to, and there's an indictment. Now, I think I, I think the deal in this case does not mean that this person gets a deal. It just means that because the deal was discovered, they get indicted. And this is an indictment of the White House at large because the person, oh, and you know the other thing that I forgot, what well, I forgot, but I don't bring it up often when I think about the house, is the house is also the card of the family. So an indictment of the house is also an indictment of the family, which makes sense, right? I mean, considering that this guy is his son-in-law, we forget that Jared Kushner is his son-in-law. It's even crazier because it makes it even worse. Like it, it basically multiplies the, the crime further. Okay, so so that's interesting. Okay, hmm. I think this could be him here. Okay, this is a King of Wands, a person in control. Diane is asking if Hope Hicks. I wonder if she slept with Quincy Jones. I don't think I don't think so, honestly. Oh, oh no, no. I'm sorry. Like I, I'm confusing. Who was? Oh, it was Ivanka Trump. That's right. That's right. Okay. So this is news. Brings news about Russia. The early. There's news about Russia and like. I mean, foreign influence. And I think when, when this card comes, it means it's announced. So there's an announcement about the Russian investigation. And the person here, it's not clear who it is. I don't think this is him necessarily. Nope. And there's gloom and adversity as a result. Now, let's we'll see here, okay. You know, guys, I'm getting the sense that that as Trump leaves, okay, I'm gonna before I close, I, I'm I'm getting the sense that as Trump leaves, he becomes the what's the word? The steward of the investigation. Like he can, there's gonna be years of investigations. Okay, so I feel like he takes a greater leadership role with this. Okay, once once things really change for the, the good people, okay, when they're when the good people have more power. Um so yeah, you know, it's true. Yeah, Terrors. Yeah, so I feel like that's what I think. So here, like just try I'm gonna try to separate all of this. Yeah, it's like, it's really, and I'm just going to show you guys quickly here. What it's showing is that 
there's like basically discovery of financial information that will be the end of of them okay and, and somehow he's related to this because it's interesting how the cards when you split them because of course i did column by column but now looking at a rows and different types of cards it's even more clear okay because we have on this this these cards you have the court so he's there's a court for trump okay so here's another another card that stands for trump so there's a legal event there's a disputes legal disputes for trump because he should have known better he made mistakes he knows there's a guilt consciousness here right in surrounding the man and here's the white house and the result is gloom and adversity so whatever happens is bad for trump this is how you know the year ends for just on these cards alone so then we also have here bambino and domestico like uh you know could also mean that the immature the angry baby and his immature son or, or son-in-law he's not really loyal right he's a traitor that means he gets an indictment and that this and he's like he's indicted or whoever or somebody i think the indictment could also mean this could also be trump because the amante male is like the main main male figure i don't believe this is adam schiff okay it's just explaining how these things happen because it's like if you think about it like this is treason right on, on the scale that the things we're asking about lack of loyalty and an indictment would mean right it's beautiful it's just a yeah because it's saying i remember reading about this and it said like there's a reason why the hand there's nothing in the in the card it's just like here's it's like all about the document there's nothing else okay it's it's a dot it's like hello deliver delivery ding dong it's over and so and so so towards the end i feel like i see him giving more talks about how this is there's a real they entangle everything and at the end there's the announcement of the deal i'll show you guys here because i think it's important okay to see what really happened okay what like what he sees or how, what his because the question was what what was what is his role in all of this okay so we have Russia med this is just the top so Russia med Russia meddling Russia meddling the election and the and they're you know the loyalists the people who are friendly to them okay is that right Let's see here if there's more yeah uh, oh yeah here yeah the people who are friendly to them and the men Okay, could be Kushner, could be Trump, could be just a general person on that, that team announces. So in a way, it could also mean that maybe, maybe the gentleman could be Schiff if he announces it. Okay, but I don't, I think it's just a, there's fine, the result of the, the, the role of Russia in the election and their friends, you know, their, their people who helped it out and this person gets announced. So it all becomes a story. The story becomes public at the end of the year, okay? So, yeah, Diane, we have to ask that question. Let's just finish here. Because Diane just asked, is he going to run for president? Which is a very valid question. I just want to make sure that I show you guys before we move on to the next. That he... Yeah, so they're, like, they discover here we have starting to fill it out. Like, so the relationship between... Trump and Russia, the money behind the election, the the corruption, not only of the of the oh my God, not only of the Republicans, right? Like in the sense that they they are corrupt, but that the, the money itself is corrupt, not just the Republicans. Okay, so so we have that, and then we have the deal, which is even more. So all of this was for a deal, right? So we have Dotards and the money behind Dotard is corrupt. They made a deal. The last card is a ship, which is the foreign power. So, so it all becomes clear. It's showing here that, that I think Adam Schiff has a role in making this public. 
And I think this is not going to come that soon. I mean, I feel like this is the full, because this is towards the end of the year. Okay. So I think what it shows, this is meant to be the end of the year here. Okay. So, so the news, all this, the full story comes out at the end of the year. Okay. And, and Adam Schiff is somehow involved in finding out all of this, but but as the year goes on, all of these things come out and it becomes very obvious and very clear. Okay. So, so that's that guys. So that's the truth. And I feel like, okay, let me just close my eyes quickly and see. I don't know why I'm saying this, but I feel like in September, Adam Schiff has this September because I feel like they need to have the the elections. I don't know. I feel like I see him in the fall talking or giving a press. How do you say it? like a press finding or something? Yes, Diane is saying so. Trump could be gone sooner, but the whole story may not come out. Exactly, it may not come out until the end of the year. Exactly, because I see him talking and he's saying the Kushner is in custody. And we have, you know, we have take, we have confis not confiscated the money, but we have like traced the money or something. Um, it's like he's explaining the money trail. Okay, he's explaining how, because obviously he, you know, he has that professional knowledge, right? He he knows what it's like to how the legal, you know, all the the legal terms and all those things. Okay, I forgot how you call it, but but he has the knowledge of that field. So he can, he's a great, excellent spokesperson for this. Okay. So I feel like he spareheads it. Okay. Yeah. So I feel like he's, oh, and you know what? Maybe he knows this is why September, because I'm like, September is so weird. Like why September? Because it's before the elections. The truth about the, the Russia meddling has to come out before the election, before the 2018 elections, which will probably be in November. So this is why this, this they're rushing with this report because they know that they have they have the information has to come out like they have to you know they have to and I feel like I see him and there's Nunes no none of these people are there Nunes is not there none of these like most of the Republicans it's a completely different scenario okay that's what, because I feel like he's giving you not just. He is talking like kind of like how he's talking now, but I feel like he, he just, you know, maybe, maybe I feel like maybe he's going to have some sort of role as the spokesperson between Mueller and the public or something. Not that he's, a, he's not a PR person, but it's almost like because he's a congressman, then he, there's like things that he knows or he knows about, I don't know, separation. Of, I don't know exactly how, but it's almost like some strategy exactly it's almost like he know like how do we do this okay so i see muller talking to him like go talk to them and then chew it like i see the muller telling him chew it for people like make it a little bit like what is it make it so that regular people understand what we're doing. I don't want to, I was like, it's going to be too boring for me to give lessons on the constitution. That's not the point, but they need, they need like the second level of explanation, layman terms. Exactly. Exactly. So I feel like he becomes this, like, it's almost like Mueller makes all this, the decisions and, and there's like the indictments and so forth, but there's a different level, which is the level of the judicial, like not judicial, but the people in the Congress. And he becomes the person in Congress who is kind of like, who is a liaison, not just a liaison, but kind of like an explainer of how the thing, how things are happening. And like he, he connects and because he's a lawyer, Rod, obviously, and he was a prosecutor, then he knows, he knows what he's talking about, right? He's like, right. He's, he's not a, oh my God. Somebody, yeah. He's not a, like, um, how do you say it? Yeah, he's not like or like Nunes, who's a who's a what is it? He's a farmer, right? So it's like it's a very different thing. Baby ring. No I'm trying. So anyway, so um so that's interesting, guys. So that's what I feel like happens, okay? I'm feeling that's what I'm I'm sensing this, okay? Now the other question, okay, so let's I'm just kind of taking 
making room here for more cards because we can still ask questions. Let's ask the question about, because, you know, it's very, I actually, to be honest, guys, I feel like I wasn't at the beginning of the reading. I wasn't, not that I had low energy, but I didn't have a lot of expectations about this reading. I just was like, oh, he's kind of, not to say that he's boring, but there's not a lot of drama about him, okay? But actually, it turned out that there is a lot going on here, okay? Yeah, uh, Zion. Oh, I love I love you guys too. You're all very, very cool. So, so I just feel like that's what I feel it's, it's like is happening, okay? This is what I sense. It's like this dramatic turn of events that he's part of, okay? Because, and it's like makes a lot of sense because he is a lawyer. So not that, I mean, not that every lawyer is like special that, no, but I feel like this is, seems to be something he's particularly passionate about. So that works, works better even for him. So I didn't expect him to have, I feel like he has such a big role now. You know what I mean? He's like, and I'm, okay, I'm getting this guy. It's like a strange, I just have to tell you what's going on in my mind. It's like, it doesn't make sense to you, but I almost like, he's going to be the author or the second constitution. I don't know what that means. Or like, if there's going to be an, um, I feel like if there's a change of laws about the election stuff, he's going to be part of it. Because I see him, like I said, it's almost like he's a founder. He's like, has this weird, out, like, I see him in, written in stone, okay? So, like, it's weird. It's almost like I see him as, like, the new revision of the Constitution, something like that. Like, he really does have a bigger role in the second coming of the Constitution, something like that. That's what I'm getting. But it's, it doesn't make sense to me because I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, I'm just saying what's the images that are coming to my mind. Yeah, like like not just releasing tax return, but making harsh laws against voter suppression, all those things, you know, making really like making democracy very strict. Yeah, not just them, but really like more, I feel like more in the sense of like not letting foreign influence come, not letting people get away with stuff, not like changing really, because he, he was he witnessed all of it. It's not it's not just a, an academic thing for him. It's like he saw it happening. So he's in, a, I, this is what I feel like. He's like, he's, I see, this is what I'm getting. He's the author of the second constitution. I'm like, whoa, what? what? So I feel like it's kind of like a revision of the, con I don't know. Like I said, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what, what this means, but this is what I'm getting. Okay. So, all right. So after this, do you, okay, guys. Um, Now, after this, because I feel like we still have a bit of, plenty of cards here. I still want to ask the question that everybody wanted to know was whether he's, he was going to run for president. Okay. Should we ask the question? Okay. Right. So let's see here. Okay. I'm trying to think. Okay. Let's just ask that specific question. Is it going to run for president? Okay. okay. Let's see here. Is it going to run for president in 2020? Right. Let's just say, is it going to run for president in 2020? Oh no. Wait, the devil already come up. So hold on a second, guys. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, one second. This was already here. Okay. Okay, let's see what else. Okay. I don't think it's funny. Lucien asked about Adam Schiff. Is he single? I date him. It's funny because I, I thought the same. I was like, oh, I know he's married because I looked him up before. <laughs> kind of pathetic, embarrassing. Okay. I'm like, uh. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, it's just funny because I was like, oh, he's a nice man. Okay, let's see. Where is it? Okay, so one second here. I'm just gonna look at all the. Hmm. 
I don't know. Honestly, guys, uh, the cards are weird. Like, it's strange. I almost feel like he's going to... It's very weird. Like, I don't know. I well, Let's do a timeline after this to find out more. But I feel like this is like manipulation and a snake. So there could be... I don't know if the Republic... Like, I, I, Okay, we'll see. One second here. This is defeat. Like, causing defeat to the to the uh to trump i feel like i have a sense that he's there's something here tells me that he's very focused on the legal side of changing the laws to make sure this doesn't happen yeah the uh, lucian said yeah lol we have to have some standards yes because it's sort of like he you know he's so perfect but i feel like you know the, the kind of those kinds of people who are in the public eye you know politicians or anybody it's like you like him you don't we don't know the person right in a good way like i mean not actually in a bad way meaning we love what the person does we admire them but i think to be a, somebody's partner you do need to it's like you need to like them before you know for things we don't know about like for before they were famous kind of thing yeah job and if so here is like this this is a snake okay so this is a, an experienced person, probably Trump. And there's another card that denotes an inexperience. This is the Javani Fanchula. So it's like the teenage woman. So it just means another card that means inexperience. And it goes with the snake as well. And work occupation. So I feel like there's a, what it's, I'm getting here is that there's a lot of work to do in terms of reconstruction of the country. So he's not thinking about it right now. I mean, I think maybe who knows in the future. He could later right i don't think that it doesn't mean that he, he wouldn't but it's showing here there's just a lot of work it's at the very early stages of defeating making sure i feel like he's his focus in life becomes right he's not yeah exactly so i feel like his focus in life becomes making sure this doesn't happen again it's funny when i first did the the reading you know the first time like the first cards for some reason i kept thinking it attorney general I think it's going to be more than that, but I, I kind of get a sense that he, like, there's some sort of legal um, job, like, not job, but, like, he has a legal role, like, an over overseer role, something like that, okay? All right. Okay, so this is, like I said, there's an experience, there's, like, a long road ahead. This is also, he doesn't want to leave something behind, and it's a long road. So I feel like maybe he start, he's starting with something Okay. But he, like the gift, here you have interesting, the card of the prison and the gift. So I feel like he has a lot of people to put into prison. And like that, that makes him happy in a way. So that's a, like the, the hardship is in a way a gift for him. Okay. Like I think long, like the hardship becomes a gift or becomes something yeah, yeah, that's like literally what it's saying, okay? Because here, it's this is an interesting card. La superbia means pride and and shallowness. So this is upside down, which means he's very serious and he's a he's a down to earth person. He's not like this, right? So he's like he's a serious person. What do we have below? We have theft. So I feel like it's saying that he's actually very serious. Again, it's confirming this idea that he's very serious about making sure theft doesn't happen again. So, so yeah, Diane is saying we should, you know, we meet up for next, the next election. So, yeah, I feel like this is what I think. I feel like he sees this, like, destiny for him as this person who makes sure, it's like, make it's like, make sure that the law, I see him, guys, now becoming the speaker of, of, like, the Senate or something. I forgot what it's called, the head, I, I don't know, my majority speaker. And he is the person who turns the findings of the Mueller investigation into laws, okay? He takes the findings and he turns into laws that make sure it doesn't happen again. That's what I'm thinking. Boom, boom, boom. That's it. Now the clarity is coming to me. Like, this is what I'm getting. It's like the, the person, yeah, I don't know exactly the, the role, but sort of like the Mitch McConnell, but not Mitch McConnell, you know what I mean? For the Democrats. Okay, so, so, uh, yeah, oh, no, oh, yeah, yeah. I thought he was, he was not a senator. I don't know. He's not, he's in the house. I thought he was a senator. Yeah. So anyway, so, so I feel like he sees this role for him. Okay. Um, and then here, the key again, theft, another card of theft key. 
So he's the answer to that in a way. So he is like, okay. And this is a happy, okay, happiness celebration in the government. So it's like, I feel like he's a, uh, the weird expression that came to my mind to say that he's the dry cleaner. Like he's cleaning. He's really like cleaning the swamp, literally. Okay. So answer is the government. Okay. The fixer, not fixer, but he's like, he's like uh, the architect of the new, oh, you know what it is? This is it, guys. It's coming to me. He's the architect of the new era, like legally speaking, in the sense that he's like making sure that the constitution or whatever rules or laws or regulations are in place to enforce Mueller's findings, okay? And this is conversazione. I don't know exactly. It's like this is a people gathering, family together, upside down. I still think it means a conversation. Rich girl, I think in some ways means the empress in tarot. So it's like conversa difficult conversations about how to create the abundance in the U.S. again, okay? How to rebuild the U.S. Because that's what I feel like. There's just a lot of, like, a lengthy work, okay, to do. A lot of work to do um, from now until 2020. And I feel like he's just, like I said, he becomes the person who re rewrites the car. I don't know why I'm saying this, but that's the image I'm getting. I don't know if it makes any sense, but but that's that. Okay, so, so yeah, so... Um, So, um, so, so that's Adam Schiff. Now, let me just quickly do a very brief thing here about for the year. Okay, this year, like 2018. Um, and 19, just, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. 20. Twenty one. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like, yeah, so that's why we could tell you. So Diane is like suggesting we celebrate soon. So I feel like he's just like really, this is restlessness about the White House, like, and, and good find, unexpectedly good findings, okay, and hope again. So I feel like it feels like he not, it's almost like he, he stumbled upon something or that he found maybe found his calling or that he's in the right place, something like that. Okay, so that's the tone for 2018. And 2019 looks kind of, it's weird, guys. And I've said this before, I think, about looking into the future. It looks difficult, okay? Even, even we, you know, if we kick Trump out, I feel like, it's almost like to, to and, and look at this guy. It's kind of funny, actually. I had I was putting this away, but look at this image. So this is a card who like went to the swamp and found the money. If you think about it, like in, in bigger terms, it's like he really cleans the swamp in a way. So there's a lot of swamp to clean. That's what I feel. It feels like okay. So because it's getting like the cards are pretty heavy. So even though he he finds you know there's like Trump leaving whenever he does leave, is only the beginning. Because there's just, imagine all the people that supported him, all the people, you know, we talked about Koch brothers, all these people, the shady people, not just the Russians, but here too. This, and then 2019, this is stuff, things fall apart in public. Like, I feel like it's almost like this is a tower, right, burning. I think it would be Trump Tower, but it's all like the whole thing kind of blows up completely in the sense of like, we see that, you know, the, the deal here, okay, the deal becomes public, okay, and then there's sadness. So I, I feel like there's just like, 
he is like, a, I feel like he's fighting constantly. PTSD, exactly. I feel like it's just going to be a dog. I don't know. It's like, it's weird because it's hopeful. But at the same time, it's like when we find out the, the things that are happening, it's crazy. Okay. So, and then we have more difficult things here, like money upside down. Another card of money problem here, twice. Guilt. Remember I said, guys, I think I saw this. Remember the, I'm, this was reminding me of the Koch brothers reading for some reason, the big money. Remember, like I said, there was going to be hearings about money, something like this. I feel like this is probably like, like there's something there because wrong money, lots of money, guilt and the long way. So there's a long, okay. So this is a big deal. Okay. So this is like, it's going to drag on. Okay. And so And this is a, some dark secret 2021. Donna di servizio. This could be caring, long term care deals. You know, I wonder if this could also mean, like, for some reason, I don't know why I'm saying this, but healthcare, there's something like this is a deal. And I was almost like, does it mean he has a lover or something? No, but I guess this is a dark, some sort of secret coming out about some young woman and a marriage card. I don't, I, I, you know, this could, there's could be many things. It could also mean that this is a new candidate, actually. A woman who could be running for office or could be in office. We don't know, okay? So this is a, a little bit vague. It's 2021, I don't know, it's, it seems kind of. But honestly, guys, this sense that I'm getting, and I, I would totally vote for him, I think is amazing. But I am not getting a sense that he feels that this is yet the time for him to be president. I think he feels like his best role is to be kind of not behind the scenes, but kind of like in the yeah, Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris's card is much better for, for president, okay, because she had a house, she had all these different things. But I think he is the person who puts the laws in the new laws in place to make sure this doesn't happen. He's behind all the committees. He's not going to forget, like Facebook, Twitter. We have to do Facebook at some point. But, you know, like all those people who were like, ah, da, da, da. no, once the Democrats are like in fully in power, they're going to, he's going to find, go all the way to the end. And I feel like he has a very special bond with Mueller. Like he, you know, they're connected. They like feel like, he feels like God, you know, bless Mueller. But once he passes, because, you know, I don't know when, but I feel like once he passes, it feels like he, he left him the mantle kind of thing okay yeah they have similar values okay so next all right any more questions about adam schiff guys so we had a question about putin yeah um diane i did a reading about putin russia but somebody asked a question it wasn't you but it, i forgot who but some similar question what happens this and i think we could ask this now what happens to russia after like if and when the truth about the election comes out like what will be the consequences to russia as as a state like how do you say it you know in terms of like economic like what's going to add just simply ask right what would happen to russia as a consequence of everything once this because you can because guys like i said i've been looking at these cards and all these different things it's kind of crazy how much that is this is extremely serious and they're not doing anything about it okay so once I, I saw this before, I forgot it was the last reading, right? That once Trump um, Trump is out, then it's going to be crazy. FBI is going to blow, like, you know, it's going to be a very, very serious thing. They're finally going to go after these people, okay, in a hardcore, serious way. So that this is going to be an example, so that it's never going to happen again. Okay, so yeah. But I think, Lucien, I feel like, I feel like there's a rel like there's just a lot of people who are creating this is the, the danger it's like they're creating the propaganda he's going to this these people are going to go the people who are collaborating in any way are going to suffer consequences serious consequences okay so i think the brainwashed are not as like i feel people say oh trump's base trump's base yes trump's base but in a, some ways trump's base is always going to be there okay so so it's like 
we have, you know, let's let's do Russia, okay? Because guys, to be honest, the whole thing with Julian, I I I, I, mean, I am curious about about Julian Assange, but I feel like I kind of don't want to go there just because you know the hack it, there's the hack. I I, I don't want to like mess with those people too much because I feel I just see them as part of Russia, okay? I could be a little bit late, but I'd be like, oh, WikiLeaks, are they gonna go? Like I'm like, mm, I don't want to be hacked. I don't want to be, you know, it's not. I don't want to give them like time. It's just I feel like WikiLeaks is part of Russia in a way. They have that they do. It's like it's like a special army for Russia in a way, right? They do everything that the Russians ask to do. So, okay, all right. So okay, like that's okay. GOP Congress. So the other yeah. So so the other part, like I said, I announced at the beginning that another question was. Did I, did I, I think I asked this question, guys. Did I ask the question of what happens to all these Republicans who are, I think I've asked many times. I think we know that, right? I think so. No, but let's ask about what happens. So let, tell me what you want next. Oh, my God. Can you believe, as she said, Lucien said they retire and work for a while. Can you believe that woman? Oh, yeah, we, oh, there's that also. I don't know that maybe tomorrow because it's going to be a reading tomorrow. But that woman, come on, get real. Rachel Brand, she now she left the job in the state. Oh, I'm sorry, the Justice Department to work at Walmart. Wow, sounds like an exciting job. Yeah, and so, and it's like her. Somebody said, oh, her specialty is surveillance, and it's like, yeah, I'm sure Walmart, you know, really needs a specialist in surveillance. Uh, hello. Uh, it's like. Clearly, she left to make room for. Don't you think, guys? Think, guys, or seriously, don't you think she's like, I, you know, do you, I don't, I don't know. Do you want me to, to ask like why she left? But I could ask tomorrow, honestly. It's more of a tomorrow kind of question. What do you think? Yeah, she's multiple. Well, yes and no, but I feel like it's it's like moves that they're trying to like make these things happen. So. So let's see. Ne so what's next? Next, next is a question of. Get hell out of dodge. She left simply to get the hell out of do dodge. What do you mean get out of dodge? I'm sorry. I, I maybe it's something like I, I don't understand. This, but what does it mean to get out of dodge? Get out of dodge. She had to get out of the fight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, who? Oh, somebody said, wait, I did see something that said, oh, that her husband, this is why, they said that she could not take, oh, okay, okay, that's okay. Because uh, she could not take the position. Now I'm remembering this that I read. She would not be able to take over, even if they wanted to, because her husband is a partner in a law firm that's representing one of, I don't know if it's Jared Kushner, somebody like, somebody like that, okay. So, so that's what was said, okay. But at the same time, yeah, oh. okay. At the same time, I, yeah, I don't know. She could have stayed just to hold her position, you know, but just to make sure nothing bad happens. But I guess she, she was like, I don't want to be here. All right, so, okay, so let's see. Okay, guys, so, so what's next? What's next? Tell me, what do you want to know? So let's do, do you want to do Russia? Like what happens, what happens to Russia as a constant, like, okay. You know, I'm trying to think here. I'm trying to think here, guys. They're discussing a TV show I'm not familiar with, but trying to think if there should be a, a, a precursor question like then to open because I feel like we we're making the assumption that Trump is gonna leave okay um, and then that the Republicans are also going to leave because then we'll be free to do the investigations okay this well it's not Diana I, th I think the sanctions are minor relatively minor because I feel like what we need to do is to like you know, do a real like stop, like right, you know, stop. Because I feel like honestly, if 
as long as the, the Trump government is on, they're not going to really investigate anything. You know how they do, like they say, Tillerson, the, like the other, yeah, there has been a real interference, but they don't do anything. They just talk. They have to talk so that people feel like we're doing something. They're not going to do anything. Okay, so this is, the question is like, okay, this is the how I feel like I should ask the question. Will the Trump administration at large be removed so that the sections can be honored because honestly guys it's not gonna sh he's trump is not gonna do anything against russia i know that 100 percent every fiber of my being so he can't be like if tillerson is in town he's not gonna like nothing's gonna happen okay tillerson is like hello he's like like no he's not he does not have our best interest in mind okay so I just feel like as long as Tillerson is, is here, no, he's not a Trump. He's a Putin puppet. That's why like, I, I feel like Tillerson, this is why he, Trump never fired Tillerson because he knows exactly because I, yeah, exactly. So, cause I feel like he knows that Trump, like they have the same boss basically. Maybe when the election shouldn't be a fraud. Exactly. I have to ask the question. Okay. Maybe it's sort of the question should be should be will t will okay. okay will the will the truth about the election be revealed will the extent of the Russian meddling in the election be revealed a to the public at large. So that B, we can uh, fight the interference for the for the next question. I mean, for the next uh, election, and meaning that that's what I mean, Diane. Because I feel like, let's say for example, if things are left the way they are, God knows what's going to happen. Honestly, because I think they they will do anything and everything to try to stop it. Okay, however way, whichever means they have, they will do everything to try to like, because they're this close to the coup, the true coup that they want. Okay, so they're going to try their best. So uh, I, that's what I feel like if they, because the, the Trump administration, their whole thing is to to obstruct justice. Yeah, it does nothing. So So like, Yeah, but, but Diane said France fought against it. Well, but France was like they were united, okay? Um, so, okay, I'm trying. Exactly. Exactly. This is what I feel like uh, Luciana say on news programs this morning. They were saying Putin will just find a new point of entry in November elections if we find out the truth about that time, last time. Exactly. If we, exactly. Well, I mean, I feel like this is why there has to be, there's going to be a serious, there have to be consequences to this. Okay, they can't just say like, because this, this administration doesn't do anything. Because imagine if it was like a normal, and we'd be like, well, this happened. Um, and, you know, this, they, they're like, it's a war. I'm sorry, that's what it is. It's a war. Okay, let's get real. It's, there's no weapons, but they're trying to destabilize the system. Okay, it's, it's kind of similar to me. It, it is kind of like a war. So, so um, there's nothing done. Nothing's being done, okay, to stop it. So... Okay. Okay, one second, guys. So, by the way, guys, um, what's going to happen? We'll be able to. By the way, guys, so it's well, I have fifteen minutes left. I kind of, I kind of want to extend this reading. So, if it because it's kind of like a big question, it's a kind of like a big deal. So, if it does come to an end, I'll of course alert you in a minute or so before. But if it gets closer, then I'll just like start a new reading, okay? Um, 
because I want to complete it. Okay. I don't want to like leave it hanging. Okay. Um, so or anyway, so, so like I said, I think it happened one time before. So essentially I have to end the, it, this and this is going to end and I'll create a new one right away. Okay. If, if it comes to an end. Okay. So just so you know, obviously you don't have to, to watch it, but I just feel like we want to. Okay. So this is it. This is, what I feel like I've articulated. So will the extent, will the truth about the full extent of Russian, Russian interference in the U.S. elections in collaboration with Trump come to light before the elections so that, A, we can fight them? Like there's going to be a, a, what is it? So that, that there's something can be done to, to, to stop them. And then B, what will happen once that truth, the truth is revealed? Okay. Intervention. Yeah. So, because I feel like it's attack. I think it's an attack would be a better word. A Russian attack in the U S electoral system. Okay. With the collaboration of Republicans or Trump or whoever, and then intervention. Okay. So yeah, and Russian intervention. So, and then once that, that is made public, if it's made public before the election, once the, once a new government is out, what's going to happen to Russia? Because, that, that okay, this is the bottom line, guys. The government cannot be Trump's administration. Nothing's going to happen if Trump is in power. So will we have a new government that will, what, how, what's going to happen? Okay, so let me just close my eyes here because I feel like I'm, I'm I feel like it's, I'm, I'm struggling to come up with the right question. Okay, so. Will the truth, so it's a question about Russia interference in the election, if we'll be able to prevent it, if what will be done. So the first part of the question is, will the truth be made public, completely public and transparent in time for the 2018 November elections? That's part one. Okay. Okay. Now let's see here. Okay, so yeah, I feel like yes, because um, I'll show you the cards. So this is a uh, harvesting money or like money, involvement of money or some sort of money that was promised for corruption. And we have here spy card, okay, and loyal. So who are the loyal spies? And remember how this combination came up just now that with the rats and the and the dogs. So. The corrupt loyalists, the corruption it was financial. They were promised they were going to get money, but they were spies. Okay, so this info because the question was, is this information going to come out? Yes, and it's explaining what information is going to come out. This is a negative. Okay, okay, and below here we have high honors and consolante sorpresa. So I feel like. This is the, the the terms, okay? So if you you know if you if you get into power, we give you honors, right? Well, this is the exchange. We give you honors, we give you power, essentially, and money. So there's going to be something a surprise, right? A surprise for the election, and and we give you honors and a surprise, okay? So so that's part here and there's a, a second column that i'll show you and here is a, a, a decision against 
them, okay? Election. So, so oh, and this guy, this card, I like this card a lot. So I forgot, I forgot about this, but when it's upside down, it means that the veil is lifted and truth comes out. So truth comes out about the election, okay? And strength, and how it's like the strength of Russia, or like the, the lengths that they went to, okay? So it's showing yes, so it's going to come out. The election. And what, like, the strength of the how of what they've done and, and how that comes out. And we have here, Dona de Servizio. I think in some ways we could think of it literally in the sense of, like, the work they've done the day-to-day -day work they did to make it happen. And good gentleman is the card of Mueller. So this is Mueller telling us what happened, okay? So it looks like it's a yes, it's gonna come out, which is a good thing. And this is, sometimes, you know, there's there's questions, there, there's readings that are not very clear. This is not, this is super clear. That's not the, the issue here, okay? So so yes, the, if the question is yes, there it's gonna come out. Corrupt elect corruption in the election. Loyalists are to Russia who are also spies who are promised high honors, okay, and uh, money and surprise victory. And uh, how, the, the lengths that they went to, the, the work they've done, and Mueller. Mueller is, is here, okay? So that answers part one of the question. Okay, so that, yes. So, so that's going to come out now. Should we ask what is going to be done against Russia before the 2018 election? And then what happens in, as a result of this in terms of their standing in the world? Is that, is that, does it answer the question? Is that, does it address the question? What's going to happen to Russia? What will be done to Russia once as a result of this election, let's just ask because that will give us a lot of information about the Trump administration. So, what's going to be done to Russia by the 2018 midterm elections once this information is revealed? Okay, so, because it could also tell us, like, oh, Trump is not going away, so nothing's going to be done. We're going to find out, okay? Okay, so wow. Tara tara prigione. Do tara do va prigione. Look, I'm so excited because it's showing do tard. So I love this card when it shows up for those readings. So, prigione. Sono andato. Good lady, 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 lady. Okay, so so this is like, okay, let's just, let me just show you the cards and then we'll talk about it. So this is a message. Okay, there's news. Dotar is on the phone. There's news about Dotar. Okay, so, so uh, this is a person who doesn't want to go away. He does not want to go away. Go away, go away. And again, money, money related to him is going to make him go away. Something about it is going to force him. This is the thing. Remember, oh, guys, you know, I'm remembering the reading I did when I closed my eyes about him and said that he, he watches on television the thing about money coming out. This is, I think, this is it, okay? And we have, what was the card? Oh, yeah. So, and then that leads to, he leaves, but where does he go? Prigione. Guarda lui. Prigione. Okay, there he is. Prigione. So that's, uh, he leaves. He didn't, didn't necessarily want to leave, but he had to leave. He's like, bye, girl. Good lady. I don't know. This is also, it, it means, this means in some ways, like the feminine power, okay? This is, I was reading on this card today, and it said, it's like the feminine, that's not the feminine, that's the feminine mystique, but I feel like generally it's, it's the things that women, like this is an older woman, but also kind of like the, the powers that women have. So I feel like this is, I feel like he goes to prison and the female era comes 
you know, this could also mean Russia, but I don't think it does. I think it means it's more of a symbolic representation of what happens. There's a change here, okay? Could, could it be, no, I don't think it's Ivanka. I don't think it's, it's funny because you don't have any women like this in his, in his environment. It's all the either young or like shady evil, like, like Kellyanne, okay? Yeah, I don't know. I just, yeah, no, I feel like it's like, it's a uh, symbolic. It's like you have, you know, he, he's, he leaves because there's a new, new kid on the block and it's women and women, a woman and women general. So this is also news. So news about Dotard that caused him to leave and the news is financial and it's like, you know, go to jail because of, you know, it's a new era, new values. Okay. So we have here. Is it news? Yeah. How is it here? News about the yeah. So here we have this is again another female card. This is also a card of energy, but it could be an, like a, the feminine. So there's news of this new it's like a change, okay? So and it's a news about a deal. And things go down for him. So the, the deal that Trump made becomes public. It's very clear. It's I think this is talking about the aftermath. It's not telling us what happens to Russia, but it's telling us about him, okay? So it's showing that after this election stuff is coming up, it becomes public. Then we have, this is interesting card, Dona Maritata, means the mother, okay? Um, and not, one person on YouTube was saying that this card is also about a partner. So if you're in business with someone, because you think about, this is how he's like, well, this is like an, 19th century idea of, of, of a married woman but if you think about modern terms your part like a woman is a partner so it's like your partner could be in life or could also be in business so it's showing here business deal okay and the partners so these are partners there's a partnership because the question is about russia so there's still partners and how look the happiness and love they're happy they love each other so because of this Oh, bye, Terry. See you soon. So, so I feel like, hi. So, so anyway, so I feel like this means that, yeah, I think it's, it just shows that the, why, why nothing was done. Okay. I think he leaves the government and nothing was done because of course they're partner, they're partners. Okay. And then, and then, okay, so after this, after he leaves, after he goes to, whatever, goes to jail, what's next for Russia? Like, I, I'm trying to see what comes, okay? Trying to see here what, what happens. Puta. Yeah, Putin, Putin. Yeah, it's funny. Oh my God. So guys, okay, so this is, uh, I think what happens, and I feel like I've seen this, but remember, the, I forgot, it was probably the last reading I did when Putin was going to be very angry at what happens. It seems like it. this is repeating itself. So this is, the wrong money becomes public, okay? They have to leave. So I feel like there's something moving on, moving along. And this is key. So when the money becomes public, you have an answer. Okay. So this is it. Like the money becomes public. That's when the key, something key happens. This is a card called dispiacere. It's upset. Somebody's upset. Remember I said like Putin was very angry. So he's upset. Displeasure. Yeah. So it's like, oh no. He's like, mm. like, oh no. Oh no. I'm sorry. Are you really upset, Putin? meeting so so this is a this could be a consequence of like this is a partnership you know so they're upset because they had a partnership okay so so there's okay so here and and guys it's oh it's gonna last just a little bit longer i'm gonna have to create it's we it's sad because i don't think we need a lot of time 
Um, but guys, I'm going to have to request it. We have 20 seconds left. Okay. It's not going to be enough time for me to show you the other cards. I'm just going to recreate a new one right away. Okay. In like two minutes. Okay. It's going to end now. We have 10 seconds and I'm going to, you're going to get a, you're going to get a notification now. Okay. Okay. Bye.